Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today I'm playing a Clazard deck with the Charizard from Team Up with the Roaring Resolve ability. And this is an ability that I really like with this particular deck because it self charges the Charizard. So the Roaring Resolve, you can put two damage characters onto your Charizard and search your deck for two fire energies, attach them to the Zard, which self powers a continuous blaze ball attack, which does 30 plus, um, you know, 50 damage for each fire energy that you discard from the Charizard and you have to discard them all. Um, every time you attack with the continuous blaze ball so obviously we can scale it even higher with an ng attachment to suddenly hit for 180 and that's before we start talking about welders now this is really really important because 180 crosses an important threshold where we're now in two shot range of b max pokemon and that's really important for us because we're trying to be as single prize card as we can with as fewer two prize card liabilities sitting on the bench as possible keep in mind that i think dead a and oracles are way too good in this deck to not play one copy of each because we are a stage two deck and we need that consistency um but we are now able to two shot those um v max pokemon and we have the ability to scale higher so if we were you know sitting on the bench with a continuous blaze ball already with two fire ngs onto a zard we might be able to continuous blaze ball again that's four ng attached that's five that's suddenly 280. we can still achieve that as well if we didn't have any ngs on the zard with a welder play welder two onto our zard um ng attached to our zard with the continuous blaze ball as well that's suddenly 280. You can scale it up to 380 if you had two engines on the Zard to begin with. And suddenly that's a big, crazy one-shot KO on the big VMAX Pokemon. So what I like about this deck is it can scale higher, but it can consistently hit the minimum that we need to to be able to two-shot those VMAX Pokemon. Now, the only way that's going to work for us is if we can streamline the Zards, like string them together back to back as con consistently as we possibly can. So our approach with this one is to go with the clay model. And I was kind of inspired by this with um, Omnipoke's video recently on the clay Zard with the Vivid Voltage. And I was actually building a different Zard deck at the time um, that I was going to bring, which is this Zard deck, which this one's a little bit more explosive, but less consistent. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and I went, you know what? That might actually fix up the consistency issue with this Zard and I'm liking just playing around with this deck at the moment. So we're built on trying to minimize the amount of energy supporters and Pokemon the deck as possible so we can depend on this clay a lot more, which discards the top seven cards of our deck and if any of them are item cards, we put them straight into our hands. So this is really useful for you know being able to find your candies and find all these other item cards that we're being heavily item dependent on um to be able to string our zards together so we've got a lot of bull search cards to be able to thin the um, deck of pokemon before we use our clay um we've got jirachi as well to be able to go and find different items and supporters out of there um we can also thin the deck of ngs with roaring resolves if we've got a zard in there um, so there's lots of different things that we can do here to try and thin before we then go and get the clay to be able to find the items that we need to be able to continue stringing Zards together. But because we are going to be discarding Pokemon and NGs left, right and center here, we need lots of ways to recover it. So we're playing a maximum count of Ordinary Rod and I like the Ordinary Rod and a maximum count here because we get to go and put two basic Pokemon, well, not basic, but two Pokemon back into the deck and also two Fire Engies back into the deck. And the deck is really, really important here because our Roaring Resolve ability only fetches Fire Engies from the deck. So we need ways to continue cycling Fire Engies back into the deck to power up our roaring resolve attack and that's saying that i've just realized i've made the sacrifice to get four of these in here because you can run out of energy resources in this deck very easily if you're not careful with it so we've got two fire crystals as well they fetch them into the hand and this can be really really useful because we are still running three welders in here as well um, and the welders whilst we're not dependent on them and that's something i like about this particular version of the deck we are not dependent on welder they can create some explosiveness with this deck so um, they also provide us a couple of extra outs on um, supporters as well to continue drawing into it and fire crystals work really really well with this plus even if you're not weldering the fire crystals can be really handy to go and pull a fire engine into your hand so you can attach it to your zard to get that extra bit of boost of damage that you need to be able to get the ko's 
So that's the premise of the deck, um, playing lots of item cards as you can see, lots of ball search, lots of recovery, including power pads for supporters as well. Um, and we've got the Dead A and the Oricorio just for that extra bit of consistency in the deck. I absolutely love this deck, I've had a joy playing some games with it. Um, I'm still very new to the clay approach, um, so the games are a little bit longer than normal uh, because I'm just getting used to that kind of play style, but I'm really enjoying this deck and I look forward to actually playing Clay Zard with Vivid Voltage uh, Charizard when it comes out as well. So let's get into those games and yeah, I'll see you at the end of the video. Go first here. All right, so Jirachi. This is a fairly decent starting hand. We need to find ourselves into a supporter. And as many Charmanders as possible. We got snakes coming our way. There's a Charmander. That's really good. So I could thin. Or I could check to see whether I'm getting a supporter first, and I think I like that better. Let's check to see whether I'm getting a supporter this turn. No, I'm not. But I am getting another quick ball, and I think that's important. We do need to get an NG attachment this turn. Am I... I think I'm going double quick ball. We're going to get a dead A change. So we'll go this. Grab ourselves dead A. Go this. Grab ourselves Charmander. We've got Dead A, don't we? Yep. Cool. So Charmander. Fire NG. Uh, we'll ordinary Rod. Grab these two back into deck. Dead A change. Still no supporter, which feels bad. Um, we could go and get ourselves a third Charmander. We have the... Hmm. I kind of need the supporter card. That's the big thing. Although I have an NG attachment. So if he takes out, takes this out with the center scorch, we're fine. So we're going to go and pull ourselves. Not a Charmander, believe it or not. I thought we we're going to go and pull ourselves a Charmander. But that is not how we're rolling. We could go and Guru. What's the upside of Guru? I don't want to chuck Oricorio out there as a target just yet. We'll chuck Guru there. I mean, Dead A is a target, but still. We'll Guru, we'll pop this down, get another pull. All right, we don't really want to use that this turn. We're hoping our Jirachi stays alive here. Which it should, you would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to stay alive. That's fine. That's fine. What we're now looking to do is try and build up a big Zard, so if it takes this out, we can take it back out. Having said that, like, if we can draw absolute a nut's hand, we could potentially take this down this turn. What would we need? We only need a scoop, to be honest, and we can get rid of the Scorch. This turn. Before it becomes too big. So if we get a scoop, that's a really good play. We'll go here. We'll run with Zoe, couple of fire. Downside of this play is if he's sitting on boss and I miss, I'm in trouble. Stella, we get scoop. We don't really want welder because we just want the scoop here. We'll just take the KO while we have it. And have a look at our top deck, which is a welder, okay. Continuous fireball, so I do have welder for the next turn Because I've got fire crystal coming so 
one baby snake down. Got Charmander, which is good. It'll be interesting now to see how he responds. So the fact that I was able to get that turn to KO was really big for me. So we've got Volt coming. It is a little bit sad that I'm probably going to have to take waste some resources just taking out a Volk. It is what it is. Dead A change. I mean, really speaking, mapping prize cards, assuming this is going to become the Scorch that we're going to have to take down a Volk, and then it's just a big Senti that we've got to get. So Fire Engies, we've got four here, so we can Roaring Resolve. Oh, we can't Roaring Resolve in the back line just yet. It makes me sad, but we can Welder onto the back line, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, so we're looking at a Welder onto the back line. A Roaring Resolve to the active, so we'll do that. I'm thinking we probably go Charmander down here, but we need this to be a Zard, so... We're gonna Fire Crystal, get ourselves Trip Fires. Welder. Onto this guy. Two of them. Got the Zard. What we now need is the... So we got the Scoop for the next turn, which is really good. We're going to drop the Charmander here. We can go and get Oracorio next turn, which is really, really good. We want to go third Fire NG to the Charmander. And... Primitive Wisdom, I think, is going to be for Clay. We're hoping we're not getting stamped. Oh, we got Clay top deck anyway. Alright, continuous blaze ball. Now we just got a big snake to deal with. We need ourselves a dandy. So we've got three of them in deck. If I don't, oops, assuming he takes me out here, which he will. Um, if I don't get... Hand Disrupted. If I don't get stamped, I get to see a lot of cards on this next turn. Because I'll get a Jirachi pull, I'll get the Clay, which digs seven. Um, plus I'll get the Oracorio. Plus I can Quick Ball out. Well, we will be Quick Balling the uh, Oracorio, so there. So I get to see a lot of cards. Kind of wish, or oh, I should check energy resource. So we got three, six. We actually haven't used many energies here. We got half the energy still in deck, which means clay first is a bit dangerous. Jirachi can go and pull whatever I need it to. I think what we're gonna do. Am I ditching clay on the next turn? I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. Go and get ourselves the Oracorio. That's the first step. Oracorio is down. I think we Oracorio pull. See what we get ourselves. So now I think we put an item on top of the deck. And then clay. Oh, I should have put something else. Oh, well, well, clay, because I know I'm getting that back. And I need that. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the candy. So that's really good. So candy. So this is five. And I need, how many do I need? Six. So six is enough, so I'll just make sure that 
We have enough fire engines in the uh, in the uh, deck. So a couple of fires back, and we need to roaring resolve. A couple of fires onto you. We need to fire crystal. Get a sixth energy to you. We'll scoop up the Jirachi. And that is GG's. I do love that. The fact that you can just go and like go big on a big VMAX with the deck, even though we're still built for more two prize card play. Yeah, GG's, GG's. Alright, so going first. Let's see what this deck has to offer. It's not the greatest of starting hands. I mean, we have a Charmander, but yeah. We'll rather that be a Jirachi. Of course the top deck is a Jirachi and I have no fire energies. Fantastic. All right, let's scrape ball, get ourselves another Charmander. We're hoping for... Yeah, we're hoping to go boom into a fire or a way out of the active. That. Mm. So what we could do, right? We could quit ball the Zard. We're hoping that Dead A's in here. Good, it is. Hate using an ordinary rod like this. This is a terrible use of ordinary rod. And we know that... The resources on energies is tight at the best of times. Hmm. I'll grab this, I guess. And we'll hold there. So I need to be really careful about my usage of fire crystals. And whatnot here. So we've got a welder play. We don't really want welders early. We ideally want clays just to try and set up multiple zards. Would love to candy. So I could have thinned a little bit before weldering. We're probably going to just be forced into a welder here. Hopefully this uh, Jirachi stays alive for a turn. So we've got a Jirachi coming back. Air balloon on Tappy Coco is not the end of the world. Don't mind seeing that. Because when he blows it up, that gets rid of that, so... Stamp would have been annoying, so... Well, possibly would have been. Must have either Dead A or something to research. Something like that to finish. Yep, there we go. No lightnings in the discard yet. He has NG Tat, so he'd have to blow up Coco if he wants to go with Zappy here. And get something into the discard. Rushing Hammer, that's not going to do you much good here. That's the other th the upside of this side, it sort of makes Crushing Hammers a little bit more useless. Not completely useless, but a little bit more. I'm hoping we have a turn. Um, hopefully he's not able to boss me up or something. We can go and get like a Charmeleon out. Oh, he's going to boss now. Okay, so that's going to force me to end your retreat. That's a bit sad. But it is what it is. Uh, we've got the clay. So what we could do here... Is Evo. Grab the Charmeleon out. Charmeleon up. Do we want a welder here? We're going to play the retreat game. I actually think we just welder on this. No, 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 no. He's used a boss. Let's clay this turn. 
We'll leave the welder for the next turn. Yep, that seems fun. Missed on, so we've got four in there now. Charmeleon Charizard's in there. So we can get the Char Charmeleon Charizard back if we want. We can chuck a couple of energy cards back if we want. No matter what, we're going to Great Balls first. Miss. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a Zard out. Uh, do we want to go and get ourselves another Charmander? If we are, what are we putting into the discard? Let's Primitive Wisdom first. We'll Primitive Wisdom back the... Actually, Primitive Wisdom was a bad call here. Primitive Wisdom back the Quick Ball. I just realised I have regrets on that Primitive Wisdom. Um, Welder we don't need, Scoop we don't need, Quick Ball, I mean that's the best we've got. We're still missing all of our uh, candies just a minute. We'll just grab the Quick Ball for the moment. We don't need Double Welder I feel. I uh, feel like that's over the top. Having said that, that's our draw after this. So we might just ditch a Fire NG. Go and get ourselves another Charmander started. So we've got the Zard for next turn. We can Fire Crystal back in. As long as we don't get Marnied. Marnied would be a bit brutal. Maybe I should have used the Fire Crystal or Ordinary Rod now. Possibly should have used the Ordinary Rod. I kind of want a better top deck if I can. The idea is if I don't get hand disrupted, I can fire crystal back, get the three NGs, welder into one of these guys. Um, I can also use a burning resolve to thin the deck. So I've got five, so there should be plenty left. I'm gonna go with the Zappy this turn to get rid of the Jirachi. So we wanna set up a backline Zard. Wow, tag switching, okay, okay. Seems fair. So we want to really set up a backline Zard ready to take out this pig run when it comes into attack. So we've got the KO here easily. It's going to cost two energies to get this particular KO, and that's fine. Um, so we're going to fire crystal, a roaring resolve, thin two energies out. Fire Crystal, grab these, we'll Welder onto this Charmander, couple of Fires, we've got the Candy straight up to Zard which is really good, and we want to now got to be careful about how many, yeah I actually think we hold on Roaring Resolving again because we've got to be careful about our end your resources. If he doesn't take out my frontline Zard this turn, I might actually need to attack with the frontline Zard. So uh, I've got Charmeleon, Charizard, two. I kind of want to wait and see if I can get a better top deck. Do we want the Power Pad back in? Not yet. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll Primitive Wisdom the Pokecoms just a minute. We get Jirachi, that's actually handy just to chuck down, just in case I get KO'd. We'll continue as Blaze Bloom. So it's four. The one thing you gotta do is just keep an eye on resources. Handy candy. Did not mean to rhyme. Um, um, yeah, so we have four, five, six, seven energies. Seven energy moment. So turbo patch, he hits it. <laughs> it's gonna go to Jirachi, fair enough. I was like looking at that going, who are you gonna attach the turbo patch to? So what's he need? E switch and to be able to Oh well he can't even use the Tapu Coco just at the minute. Unless he's got another fire NG. Oh sorry, lightning NG in hand. How to use it. So, uh, yeah, I've got the ordinary rod, so that's good. So I can go and put energies back. Four, five, six, seven. I don't know how many's prized. I really wish I actually do deck checks to 
go and see what I've got. I've got a Marty incoming, that's unfortunate because that gets rid of my welder and I really wanted the welder. And I had a candy in hand, like this was a good hand. Had the power pad as well to go and replace a couple of supporters. That was a really good hand to have. Uh, we got welder. So we should, like, unless we prized, what is it? We got two, four, and four in the discard, so eight. Unless we prized three fire engines, we should be fine just to, well, four we'd have to prize. We should be fine here just to go with a Roaring Resolve. Do I want to? Yeah, I do. I definitely do. So let's Primitive Wisdom this. So that way we can shuffle the deck and hopefully get something a little bit different. Do we want a Poker Comms before we do this? Well... Oops, okay, we're Pokecoms in because apparently I, it didn't register my click. Um, uh, okay. We're going to grab Oricoria. Out. We'll Roaring Resolve. Uh, grab a couple of fires. So we prized one fire. Something we can confirm. Uh, which means that we've got to be very careful on our welder plays. I do need to welder because I need to draw. So we're going to welder to this guy. One energy. Okay, so we get candies. Continuous blaze bomb. We've got a scoop up now. So the worst case scenario is we scoop the Zard if he promotes Pigarom here. And we go to this side, but can I one shot? I've got one NG in deck, so yeah, I can. So if he goes to the Pigarom here, we can still get the one shot. Although he wouldn't just leave the Pigarom sitting in the active. I wouldn't have thought. Pretty devastating Marnie, that one. I get... <laughs> Makes me pay the ultimate price for not using the Ordinary Rod. So I probably should just use the Ordinary Rod and if he... I just want better top decks. <laughs> but yeah, probably should just used it. Yeah, I can still take down a Zapdos, a Zapdos. So we need a single and a two prize card turn. This is getting painful. So I can scoop the Zard. Get rid of Wisdom, get rid of, we'll put the Quick Ball back for a Quick Ball. To get this KO, I need the three Energies. Am I really just passing for a turn? I think I am, to be honest. I think I pass for a turn. If he bosses up the Zard... If he bosses up the Zard, it really makes me pay for passing. I'm going to pass. We'll wait for a turn. Going to Bird Keeper. So that's not a boss. Going to Big Charm. That hurts. I do need to find my way into an Ordinary Rod. So that will get me five. So the Big Charm won't matter actually. Yeah, as long as I hit Ordinary Rod, the Big Charm doesn't matter. I've just got to hit that Ordinary Rod. So I've got Oricorio to pull and Jirachi. He will have, like, I've got to get one more Pokemon. That's a challenge. We do have boss in deck still. Although he's running out of fire energies, so. That's oh, so fire, lightning energies. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so we're going to Oricorio down. Gonna dance. There's an ordinary rod. 
that's what we're looking for. I think we want to pull before we ordinary rod. Well, that's still a wish. Uh, do we want fire crystals or do we want ordinary rods? I feel like ordinary rods are probably better at this stage and we'll leave the fire crystal the next turn. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we'll ordinary rod, do both, grab one of these lines back and a couple of fires. We'll then roaring resolve, two fires onto you. Scoop the Jirachi into the Zard. Chuck Jirachi down. We want a Ordinary Rod again. Do we want to do both here? How many attackers do we need? Well, we'll do both for the moment. Grab these two back. Couple of fires back. Um, so we need to start building up another Zard. Chances of being attacked next turn oh i should have played first i didn't even realize i hadn't played a supporter yet whoops that's my bad that is my bad 100 percent should have played first oh well we'll play now lose a fire ng It really depends what happens next turn. We will energy attach no matter what. And we'll just continue as blaze ball. Take the three prizes. Just because I might need to attack with this side next turn. So energy resource is going to be pretty important. Wouldn't mind that to be welder instead. Another fire, that's always handy. Although I've got fire crystal at the minute. I don't know if they're going to have the attack next turn. Probably should have Roaring Resolve for one, actually. That would have been the ideal. Yeah. Still experimenting very much with this deck. So, the reason why I'm probably playing very slow at the minute, too. Trying to get used to playing with this kind of build. I've been messing around with clay just just to play something different. Um so yeah. Getting used to playing with clay and learning what order you need to play things with clay. So I think that's pretty important. And you can see I've uh messed the order up several times, so that you live and you learn, that's what it's about. So what have we got? Eight. He actually had the attack here. Okay, he still does. <clears throat> he has the boss for game. Oh, uh, sorry, the boss for game. He has the, um, like, if I get boss, I've got game. I should have a Charmander still back there. We do get a nice Jirachi pull here, as well as an Oracorio, so I can see the rest of my deck. Do I want to put... Yeah, I want to put Welders back, to be honest. Because what am I? A Welder, that's two. Two NG pulls. One, two... How many is in the discard? Ten. Do I have two left, or is one prized? I forget my NG count. Is that last prize a fire or not? Anyway, how many do I need? I need five. So a welder is two and NG attach is three. I've got one attached, so that's four. And if this roaring resolve hits one, so I'm pretty sure there'll be one there. Well, there has to be one. Yeah, so we've got two. All right, so... We see the rest of our deck, so we need to chuck the welders back. So we should have game here. 
Because there's no way that I miss everything from this point. Uh, we don't see the welder. We do here. Guaranteed to. Fire crystal. Oops. Get plenty of these guys. Welder. On to the Zard. Oops. Only two. Energy attach. Scoop up net. On to the Zard. And continuous blaze, don't forget. Alright. I'm liking this deck. Still need to play it a bit more to get used to it, but I'm liking it. It's fun. Alright, being sent to go first. No Jirachi, that makes me sad. So I'm only going to have the one Charmander. Ah. Unless our top deck's good. Let's see what this gets. A Jirachi, that's good. Alright. I like that top deck. We'll retreat to the Jirachi. We'll go and... Do we want to... Here's the thing. Uh, we'll just... Yeah, we'll have a look. I'm thinking this is candy. For the moment. We're going to have to take down a Volcanion. No matter what. Yeah, right. So we'll grab the candy for the moment. We'll have a look to see what the next card offers us. Alright, we'll just hop. We're gonna need big welder plays in this game. Gonna be Green's version of Senti Scorch. Which means he's gonna build up a big snake on the back line. So either we're accepting the two shot. I think that's the play that we're going for. It sucks that I'm just gonna have to take out a Volcanion. I don't think I'm really rushing to take that out this next turn. What I'm really trying to prioritize is just setting up multiple Charmanders um, for later. There's the Senti. A little bit surprised you didn't actually use the giant hearth before. Don't mind seeing Volcanion go to the discard here. I'd rather not have to go through multiple Volcanions. I'd rather have to... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't... Yeah. I stick by what I said. Uh, so what are we doing here? We don't really want to fire crystal that just to draw. We've got this to go and get some fire energies out of the deck if I want to. I don't really want to discard anything I've got just at the minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to Stellar Wish first, I guess. It was bad, this Stellar Wish. We need... This. What am I discarding? Am I really discarding my Charmeleon? I don't like the sound of that. But I can get it back later, so we are. We'll go and get ourselves a Charmander here. Oh, I needed to... Ah, oh, I played that the wrong way around. Played that the wrong way around big time. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to go with the... Put the Oracorio on top of the deck. Uh, we've got... Welder. I can't believe how badly I just played that. That's a terrible play by me. Uh, we'll candy this one up. Bizarre. Start building up a snake. Such terrible gameplay for me. We'll put this. Grab this. We'll weld arm. I kind of want to weld it to this one and hedge my bets a little bit. Oh, well, I'm going to have to hedge my bets. 
a lot. I don't have my Oricorio for draw in the next turn anymore. I've messed up bad so many ways. At least I've got the Welder. At least I've got Candy's Art as well. So there's some things going for us, but yeah. I can't believe how badly I messed that up. Made the decision to ditch the Charmeleon. I need to giant half the Charmeleon, get a couple of fire energies. So that was the play. Then um, a quick bowl of fire energy because I could always fire crystal these fire energies back after. Ah, <sighs> hindsight. <laughs> I'm assuming we'll see an energy attach here, although I wasn't really paying attention yet. So right, there goes Jirachi. We've got the, like, the Zard has the KO here. This Charmander's going to be able to go and get some other stuff. This greens will probably be for boss, I could imagine, which will make me sad. If it's not for boss, I'll be a really happy person right now. I would have had my Oricorio for draw this turn. So it's not for boss. Either he has boss in hand or he... This is good. This is good. Oops. So I'll be able to get a few fire energies happening here. So we'll promote the Elzard. What we could do is we could run a clay play here. Which I think is better. Ah, oh, it's a hundred percent better. The Roaring Resolve, a couple of fires, just got to be careful about how much I load this one up. So what do I need, seven or six at the moment? So it's six at the moment, but I'm anticipating it could be seven, so I'm a welder there, so we're good at the moment. Let's quickly put this one to the top because I'll get it off the clays, it wouldn't have mattered. Alright, so we'll grab the clay. Pretty good, lost the boss. Only rods are really good here. Would not mind hitting a Pokemon so I can get another. We don't want Dead A just the minute. We do want to get another Charmander started. Jirachi is an interesting play because Jirachi can go and get me. Hmm. We're just living life dangerously on welders at the minute. So we'll chuck another Charmander down. We'll live life dangerously. Uh, we don't want to use Ordinary Rods yet, or the Fire Crystal yet, so it's just a continuous Blaze Ball. That's enough, yep, good. Two Fires into the discard. We have a really powerful turn next turn if he doesn't boss. Like, we have the KO, basically. Beautiful Charizard, actually, because I've got a Candy into another Zard. So he has to set up something else, just in case, or he has to boss the Charizard. If you boss the Charizard, then we're looking for a two-shot play. No boss, so that's really good. That's really promising. At the moment, we only need six energies, so we can go and pull that out. And then set up another Zard. A backline Zard, because we can also scoop into another backline Zard. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking this. This is looking really good at the moment. So Senti, so what we can do, I've got to count the number of energies here. Three, oh, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we, we haven't prized that many fires, so I should be able to just go straight into, is there any reason, oh, because I want a welder, that's why, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want a Roaring Resolve first, is the first thing. Grab a couple of fires, there's only one fire energy left in deck. Yeah, so now we want a Welder onto this guy.
Do we want to... Yeah, we'll just... We'll candy you up. I was just thinking about, do we want an ordinary rod and then thin the two fires first? What's the benefits doing that? I get another Charmander in. Another Charmander is not necessarily a bad thing, so I think that's what we'll actually do here. So we'll do both. Get yeah, Charmander, get another Charizard. That feels fine. All right. <laughs> We're about to blow up and we're setting up another Zard in the back line ready to go. I think we had games. So. And it is time to wrap things up and give my final thoughts on the deck. And you know what? I've really enjoyed playing this. I really miss seeing a lot of stage two decks in the format. I mean, that to me when I was growing up is what Pokemon was about. Being able to evolve into big beasts of um, Pokemon and having to work to get um you know get things into play and i'd really miss that about the format and i really have enjoyed my time playing around with the zard be it this um, particular version which is a much more consistent version based but doesn't have the same level of explosiveness that this one potentially can have and pull off at times but having said that it's few and far in between that you're able to pull this sort of thing off so i've had one particular game against the tundus where i had a couple of zards in play i had no ngs in play whatsoever it's able to roaring resolve a couple of times um get you know what is that four NGs into play, weld a couple and then NG attach and then switch into the Heatran and suddenly hot burn GX for 350 damage out of nowhere and being out of one shot a big um, attendance. That was a lot of fun. So the explosiveness of this deck can be a lot of fun, can have some highlight reel moments, but the Clayzard build approach to it um, was certainly a lot more consistent. Um, and I like this kind of approach. I'm really, you know, I miss stage two decks and I really have enjoyed my time playing around with the deck. Um, so yeah, that's my final closing thoughts on the deck. You could possibly add, you know, things like Heatran to this deck as well to try and get a bit more explosive potential to it, I guess. But for me, I was just trying to be as one prize card um, focused as I could possibly be. And I'm also trying to limit the Pokemon and energies and also the support account total when you're playing a clay sort of approach. You want to max maximize the items when you're playing this kind of deck but yeah had a lot of fun enjoyed the deck and i hope you liked this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and until next time i'll catch you later